Hello, I'm Kartika, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Customers tell me that when an AWS DMS task encounters an error, they wonder if they can control or change the behavior of the replication task during change data capture CDC phase. I tell them that they can do this through error handling setting. Error handling setting can manage errors at the data level or table level either based on the data manipulation language, DML, or based on the environmental errors. Environmental errors include connectivity issues between the replication instance and the source or target, task failure due to resource contention on the replication instance, the source or target is not available, and so on. Let me give you three common error handling task settings. The first one is table error policy. When an error is related to general data or metadata to a specific table, this policy defines the action that AWS DMS takes. For example, whether to suspend the table or to stop the task. The second one is data truncation error policy. When data is truncated during migration, this policy defines the action that the AWS DMS takes. For example, whether to ignore the record, log the error in the log file, suspend the table, or stop the task. The third one is recoverable error count. When an environmental error occurs, this policy defines the maximum number of attempts that AWS DMS makes to resume the task automatically. For example, minus 1 is for infinite attempts and 0 is for no attempts. You can use any number for this. For more information about this, see the link provided. Let's go ahead and perform the steps involved in modifying the task setting to set error handling setting using AWS command line interface. Sign into the AWS management console and choose AWS DMS. Choose a database migration task from the navigation panel. If the task that you want to modify is running, select the task, choose actions and choose stop. After the task is stopped, choose the name of your task. From the Overview Details section, expand the Task Setting JSON section. Copy and paste the task setting into a JSON editor. Edit the setting under Error Behavior. The following example setting set Fail on Transaction Consistency Breached to True and Recurrable Error Count to 10. Save the JSON file and note the task ARN and file path to use later. Install and configure the latest version of the AWS CLI if you haven't already. Run the modify replication task command with the task ARN and the file path that you noted in step 8. Linux example. Windows example. Return to the AWS DMS console and choose Database Migration Task from the Navigation Panel. Confirm that the task status is modifying. Choose the name of your task. From the Overview Details section for your task, expand Task Setting JSON and confirm that the Error Behavior settings are updated. Hope you enjoyed watching the different error handling setting in AWS DMS. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.